Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Meyer. I'm one of the physicians here at Carolina Conceptions. And I'm just going to talk to you just a few minutes about in vitro fertilization here at Carolina Conceptions. We are a uh, program in uh, Raleigh. We've been up for about six years. And we do between 400 and 450 cycles of IVF a year. When we initially meet the couple for our first consultation, we obviously go over the old records and, uh, and then we sit down and we d discuss their records and apply it towards in vitro fertilization at Carolina Conceptions. The things we're most interested in patients considering IVF is how long they've attempted to conceive. We look at obviously the semen analysis and we look at AMH, which is a marker of a woman's ovarian reserve which is really the way or the manner in which your ovaries are going to respond. We suggest that our patients consider some basic uh, preconception genetic testing which involves uh, cystic fibrosis usually, uh, spinal muscular atrophy testing and we can do that either by a simple blood test or um, patients can swab the inside of their cheek and uh, we can get the information in about two weeks on that. We then um, discuss how IVF proceeds at Carolina Conceptions. All patients will meet with our financial uh, advisor uh, and there are several programs that we do to try to make IVF um, affordable for patients here. They all undergo a one-on-one -on -one teaching class with our nurses and the nurses will teach them how to do the medications and work out a schedule with them. Prior to embarking on IVF, we want to make sure the uterine cavity of the woman is normal. We can do that by just placing uh, saline or water inside her uterus and taking ultrasound pictures. And we also do a practice transfer, which we call a mock transfer, because we want to make sure that when we put the embryos back inside the uterus, it's going to be an easy transition into the uterine cavity. So IVF after all that is um, taken into consideration and is undergone by the couple, they um, will have their protocol. We use various FSH injection pre um, preparations. We also use um, LH and we, we combine almost all of our protocols with Menopure. For women who have a low AMH, we often consider the addition of male hormones uh, prior to stimulation and many of our patients receive growth hormone during the, their stimulation. Patients are monitored here in the office um, with estrogens and uh, blood work. It's usually a stimulation of 9 to 11 days. We also use various ways to trigger patients. We also use Lupron triggering. Um, with lower doses of HCG in our patients that were worried about hyperstimulation. Once patients receive a trigger dose here, their egg retrieval is done um, in a room that's uh, an extension basically of the lab. Um, it's done under uh, conscious sedation. We have a nurse anesthetist who puts all our patients to sleep and that way they won't feel the procedure being done. Um, the egg yield is usually based on the AMH levels and we let patients decide with low AMHs and low egg production whether they want to go ahead in a cycle that seems suboptimal. Um, we like to do retrievals in anybody who we think are going to produce more than three or four eggs, but we have done egg retrievals in patients who have only produced two eggs. Once those eggs are retrieved by the egg harvest procedure, um, the embryologist then allows um, them to be fertilized um, by ICSI and that's usually done in late morning, early afternoon and we call that procedure ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection where the sperm are actually injected one sperm into each mature egg. Usually about 80% of the eggs can undergo ICSI and about 75 or so percent of the eggs that do undergo ICSI actually fertilize. The embryologists are the ones who call the patients the day after ICSI and we call that day one of a cycle to let them know how many eggs were mature, how many underwent ICSI and how many fertilize. That's about all we can tell about embryo quality at that time. 
the embryos are stored, we use a, a low oxygen um, nitrogen incubator system, which we feel is uh, a step up from the normal incubator system. It tends to give better day five embryos, and we'll talk. I'll talk about that in a second. On day three, we do uh, take the embryos out, and we usually give the patients a call then about the progress of their embryos. In some patients, we transfer embryos on day three, uh, depending on how many embryos we have. We like to proceed, if possible, to another two days in the laboratory, now to day five for um, embryo growth, because those embryos have a higher chance of implanting. It's not that we do anything to increase the implantation rate, it's just that the strongest embryos continue to divide, and those are the ones, obviously, they're gonna have the highest implantation rate. What's interesting is often the embryos that we would pick on day three to have transferred if we did do a day transfer are not the ones that we would transfer on day five. As women age, the percentage of women that are able to undergo a day five transfer actually decreases. The transfer is done in another room that's an extension of the laboratory. It is very similar to the mock transfer, except it's, under, it's done under ultrasound guidance. Um, I think that's a great opportunity for the patients to have discussed their embryo or embryos that are going to be um, transferred and those that we hope to freeze. Um, along with receiving a photograph of their embryos, they actually see on the camera um, their embryos as they are loaded into the catheter and then placed back in their uterus under ultrasound guidance. Um, and then the most difficult time for patients is just waiting the one to two weeks for their uh, pregnancy test. Patients are all treated with progesterone here um, and they can receive that as shots or vaginal preparations. I hope this brief overview of um, IVF at Carolina Conceptions was helpful and um, we welcome any questions. Uh, we obviously welcome you as a patient and I think that if you uh, go to our website, you'll get further information about our program and the um, individual aspects of our program that uh, I think make us unique. Thank you very much.